Okay, this is take three. <sighs> Hello everyone, thank you for being here. My name is Verde Arbusto, and this is the Schumann Resonance Harmonics group uh, on YouTube and on Facebook as well. Um, it is, today is uh, Monday the 27th, and I am here making a basic introduction on the Schumann Resonances Harmonics Report. This is just a simple instructional video to introduce a person to the parts of the, uh, the Schumann Reports that perhaps you may not be that familiar with. All right. So uh, let me get into it right now. Um, so what we are looking at here, this whole part right here, is this is the spectrograph, what everyone calls the Schumann. This is the amplitude dependency. This is the quality dependency. And this is the frequency dependency. All right. So the, the spectrograph, which is this right here, the spectrograph is the composite view of the 12 dependencies to the Schumann Resonance Harmonics Report. So there are the three main dependencies of amplitude, of quality, and of frequency. The amplitude is the electric component of the Schumann Resonance Harmonics Report. This is measured in pico electron volts, and a pico uh, uh, the, the suffix pico is 15 zeros, or it's um, 0.1 with 15 zeros after it. Um, so that's a pretty tiny number. Um, this dependency is measured in the, uh, the vertical. It is the uprights of the chart. So when you see these spikes, these daggers that are coming down from the top, those are the electric components to the reports. Um, high electric charge is measured in the spikes, so that's what you will see when you see the spikes, is the amplitude, that is the electric component. <clears throat> um, frequently, it's important to know, frequently when people talk about the Schumann they, they confuse the power rating and the frequency rating all the time. It drives me crazy. When you see a spike, and in this case, this was from a couple weeks ago, I think the spike was 74 that day. All right, so when you see a 74, a spike of a 74, for example, just know that the Schumann resonance did not hit 74 hertz. The Schumann resonance probably only hit 33 that day, or maybe it was 27. The Schumann resonance, I assure you, has never hit 74 hertz frequency. So that's what those spikes are, is it's the amplitude dependency. All right. So you see there's three colors of this. There's the white. You can just barely see it. There's the white. Oop, hello. Oh, this is so terrible to see. So there's white as the first one, then you have the second one is yellow, then the third one is red, and then the fourth one is green. So the white is mode one. I'm shaking like a leaf on a tree. So the white is the mode one, yellow is mode two, red is mode three, and green is mode four. Okay, so that's what all these colors are on here, is it's the varying modes that are reporting. When you see white here, please don't ever say it is white light because that is not what that is. That is mode one hitting a white mode peak. All right. So the next one up is the quality dependency. Okay, and the same thing here. There are four color modes, and these represent the different bandwidths that are reporting. Okay. So the quality is the magnetic component of the Schumann resonance harmonics. 
it is measured on the parallel to the ground. So it's measured 90 degrees. How do I say this? It's measured 90 degrees from the upright. It runs parallel to the surface of the ground. There's two induction coils that give you the, uh, the magnetic values, which are reported in the quality. So there's one magnet that's aligned east to west at 90 degrees uh, perpendicular to that. There's another induction coil that is measuring the west, east-west uh, axis. Um, uh, the quality is measures the current, which is magnetism, is magnetically heavy waves are reported as bands on the Schumann reports. So when you see these bands that run here, this is the free, uh, this this here is the harmonic, the frequency harmonic of 7.8. The next one here, this is at about 14. The next band, this is at uh, 1421 or 22, I guess. The next one after that is 27. Then the next one here, this is 33. And you see how high we were up in the and the, the resonances in the the uh, this teal green. So that's in the 33. That's almost in these these peaks are again their amplitude. These are not properly the Schumann resonances. The amplitude is not properly the Schumann resonance, even though it's in there and the reporting spectrograph uh, plots it in there with the rest of it. But the resonances are these magnetic lines that go the frequency. The frequency ratings are over here on this side. Okay. All right, so the next one up, all right, so that's uh, quality. Um, and there's uh, four modes to the quality. There's, again, the white mode is one, the yellow mode is two, the red mode is three, the green mode is four. Um, quality. Uh, the frequency is the last one. The frequency of the waves themselves, this is the most baffling to people. Frequency, when you get it in these dependencies, this is the unit of measure of the volume of it. These numbers here are the wavelengths measured in kilometers, which is within the time frame or the framework of UTC, the time code of UTC. The frequency is the peak to peak quantity of both the electric and the magnetic waves. This is really important. It, it is supposed to be the frequency of the amplitude and the quality together, but I am not quite sure that it's actually doing that. When you look at it, it appears that the frequency is more aligned with the quality of it. All right, but this is, I'll get into this more later. So frequency is essentially the volume over a distance. All right, so this number here, when we look at it, and get a close-up of this here. Ah, hello! All right. So, I want to get a close-up of this here. Wrong way. Oh, that's about it. All right. So, I don't even know what the number here is, but you'll see, like, the, the top of this here will be... That's your frequency. The top of this will be, for the white mode, will be like an 8. Right, the top number for that, it'll be anywhere from like 7 point, looks like 